I'm Dr. Dan Simeonescu and I know bioengineering. Uh, first of all, uh, my group is entitled Biocompatibility and Tissue Regeneration Laboratory. You can find us online as well if you're interested. And essentially, as the name implies, we are looking at developing tissue regeneration therapies for patients. What this means in a nutshell, uh, clearly we're trying to produce human tissues in the lab. We have been working with students for uh, 10 years and I have seen that they get very enthusiastic about uh, getting their hands wet in the lab or their feet wet in the lab and every student that reaches our group uh, receives a small project which is part of a bigger project and they're very excited in um, approaching those challenges each and every day and learning how to use this nice equipment that we have here. And if you look at them, they're pretty much like kitchen gadgets. We have all kinds of things that mash and destroy and boil and microwave and stir. And just using the same techniques, we could work with human tissues. Coming back to the uh, facilities, it's very important these days that labs are well equipped with uh, modern facilities and we are lucky to have this in our group. Uh, for example, um, let's think of a um, little stirrer that we use to prepare solutions. The same way you would go home and uh, make a soup and use a spoon to uh, swirl around the uh, fluid, here we use a, a simple magnet that continuously uh, moves around and therefore it mixes up our solutions. The masher, for anyone who makes mashed potatoes, knows that's an important element. We use that to destroy tissues to be able to extract certain components from them and then purify them and study them. Another example is the centrifuge. Everyone uses one at home. When they do laundry, at the end of the wash cycle, uh, your laundry is being spun down to separate the water from the clothes. Similarly, we have machines which are a little bit smaller, but they still separate tissues from cells and fluids by simply applying a centrifuge force.